Okay, so for our next part, we're going to uh, do an in-class exercise where uh, you take the lyrics of a song and you interpret them uh, into a very simple uh, single poster with type on it and uh, some sort of simple image. Um, so you can sort of see here, um, the you'll summarize the lyrics and you will turn that into a visual. Could be an icon with type, could be an illustration, uh, it could be a, a collage, um, it could be as simple as a drawing. That's, that's entirely up to you. But uh, I'm just going to take you through sort of, you know, the, the idea behind this is that you, you read it, uh, you interpret what the lyrics are about, you take into consideration the title of the song, which is when I paint my masterpiece. Um, and then you go through some of the uh, some of the techniques that we've talked about. So, making a list, um, visual research, um, thumbnails, uh, and sketches. And then um, this will be due at the beginning uh, of next class. So I thought I would show you uh, a couple examples um, of how simple or complicated something like uh, this is. So in the end, it, 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 it is pure sort of conceptual um, image making. So uh, I think I showed you before um, uh, a mixtape for Desert Island. So I thought I would um, share with you one of the uh, one of the images uh, we created for that. So uh, each artist um, uh, had to choose a song, um, but we did have um, a writer uh, who I asked to choose a song. Um, so he chose a song that he would take on a desert island. Now the interesting thing about this writer is that um, he's an amazing writer, but he's also uh, blind. So I thought it would be really interesting to sort of have him um, write about this song, and then um, my partner and I would interpret uh, what he wrote. So I thought I would start by just um, sharing with you what he wrote with the song. And I guess while I'm doing that... Uh, let me just bring up, I'm uh, just going to bring up iTunes for a second. So this is the description of Ryan Knighton, um, the writer. Um, upon hearing uh, the song The Hole in the Boat by Jerry Fish and the Mud Bug Club. I can't remember the name of the shop or the street, but I remember the town, Dublin, where I first heard Hole in the Boat by Jerry Fish and the Mud Bug Club. I was the only customer in a chair. The Turkish man who had just shaved my beard was dragging an alum stone about my face. It sting a pleasure when the strange pirate circus of a hole in the boat began to play on the stereo or maybe it set sail I have been with I have been obsessed with the song ever since at first I thought I was listening to an unfamiliar Tom Waits bootleg or maybe Leonard Cohen the boys had their gravel and confident talky swagger swamp lounge fish sounds like a barstool stranger telling secrets dredged from the muddy bottom but then the horns that blast of Spanish tinge, a mariachi band on a ship of fools, and a fish their pirate captain. You can hear so many decks of misfits, gunfighters and outlaws, and dancing horses announced with the touch of a western guitar sting. A theremin floats eerily overhead like a 60s UFO mistaken for the moon. The devil herself hoots as she swings from the mast like a gypsy on a trapeze. No skull, no crossbones, but we are warned nonetheless. Everybody knows the ship is sinking, and still we row. And so we do. 
it was a good close shave. So we basically took the idea that Ryan was in Dublin and he was sitting in a barber chair and he was listening to Hole in the Boat, which uh, there were quite a few little areas in here that we pulled out. So the idea that the captain is a fish pirate, um, that the devil herself is swinging from the mast, um, that the people in it, everyone knows the ship is sinking and still we row. So uh, a lot of really ir interesting sort of things to, to sort of uh, think about when we were uh, illustrating this. So uh, I will share with you um, and play for you the song. So uh, let me just zoom in, zoom out here. Um, so you can sort of see what I wanted to do was actually have Ryan in the boat itself. So as if the as if the um, barber was part of the story. So you can sort of see we have Ryan in the in the middle of the boat having a shave, sort of oblivious to what's going on, and the barber is shaving him. And the rest of the rest of the crew um, basically knows the boat is singing and sinking, and you can see that they're they're bailing and rowing. And um, I made them skeletons because I thought it would be interesting if they were dead and they didn't even know it because the boat is uh, uh, sank. So you can sort of see um, the other thing that that I wanted to do with it is you can sort of see how it darkens around the edges of the illustration. Um, I want that was a nod towards Ryan who lost his sight uh, very slowly uh, until it just became a little pinhole of light and now uh, he's completely blind. So I wanted to have a little tinge in there and then uh, yeah, and then lots of kind of fun little characters, and you see a guy in the water, and then we actually put an octopus in there just for the heck of it. And there's the, the captain of the boat with the, playing the, the Spanish horn, and, and so yeah, it was a lot of fun to work with. Now, for your project, you don't, I'm not expecting this. What I'm expecting is something a, a lot simpler. So a little bit more, uh, a little bit more like a simple graphic or a logo that perhaps uh, hints at this, at the, the song itself. So here's a couple examples of sort of interpreting a song. So uh, red, red wine. Uh, so you can sort of see very, very simple interpretation of of uh, three glasses of wine, uh, flat illustration, uh, and then using a little bit of the lyrics from the song. So here's a pretty iconic interpretation of I Can't Get No Satisfaction that actually uses the lyric in the design and then just has sort of an iconic um, TV that is actually uh, on the TV. You can actually see when I'm watching my TV and man comes on and tells me how white my shirts can be. Um, so a little bit more literal. So an example of a really simple idea for the black keys. This is actually a, a concert, but the idea of having kind of a, a used uh, bottle cap, which has a little bit of sort of rock and roll spirit behind it. A really nice example of doing something uh, kind of literal, which is actually taking the lyrics and, and uh, turning the lyrics into the actual shape um, of a strawberry. And the one thing to really look at here is the kind of flowing technique. There is, uh, is there's some ink splatter, some uh, transparency, so a really well done, a simple idea.